So in this video, we're going to look at the special case of linear systems where you have a homogeneous system. Uh, and that is a system where each of your equations is equal to zero, um, represented by this little equation right here. Ax equals zero, a is a coefficient matrix, and x is a, a vector. Um, and that's how you would present a system of equations. Um, that basically corresponds to when you have a system of you know, a1, x1, plus a2, x2, dot, 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 a n, x n equals zero. And in your next row, down to a m, x1, plus a m2, x2, a m n, x n equals zero. My notation's a little off, but you get the idea. Um, you just have a system of equations, and they're all set equal to zero. Not unlike these two examples I have right here. Okay, so in a previous video, we talked about the number of uh, solutions that a, a system of, of equations can have, uh, where we said it can either have no solutions, it can have one unique solution, or it can have infinitely many. For a homogeneous system, the, that first option is ruled out. Um, where there's no solutions, because every homogeneous system at least has one solution, which is the trivial solution, which is where x1, x2, x3 are all equal to zero. Um, and so the question basically becomes, is there, a, is there a solution beyond the trivial solution where everything is equal to one? Um, so for these two examples, one of them is going to be trivial, one of them is going to be non-trivial, uh, and we're going to solve them just to see what it looks like. Let's write this as a coefficient matrix. So you might be asking yourself, why didn't you include those zeros? Well, if you think about the elementary row operations that we do on a matrix, we can multiply by a constant, we can swap rows, we can add rows to each other. Those zeros are never gonna change. They're just gonna stay as a row of zeros through the whole thing. So if I'm working with a homogeneous system, I don't have to write that final row. I can just leave it off and remember that they're all equal to zero and that this isn't my uh, solution, that my solutions are just all zero and they're not included. So I can just go about solving this. First thing I'm going to do I'm going to subtract the first row from the second row. That won't get rid of it, but that'll give me a one. Um, three minus two is one, two minus one is one, minus three minus one is minus four. Now I'm gonna swap and put that row, up, that row with a leading one at the top. And now I'm going to go 2 minus 2 times the first row. 0. 1 minus 2 is minus 1. 1 minus 2 times minus 4. 1 minus minus 8. 1 plus 8 is 9. And 0, 7 minus 3. Okay, I'm going to multiply this by negative 1 real quick. And now I'm going to use this 1 to get rid of that 7. So that's uh, 7 minus 7 times this row. I'm going to write 1, 1 minus 4, 0, 1 minus 9, 0. And that's minus 3 times 7 times negative 9. I'm not even going to solve that out. or write down what that number is, because that's the last number I have in this row, and I know whatever it is, I can just divide it by itself, and I'll eventually get a one right there without affecting anything else. So again, that'll just be some big number, which I'll then divide by itself, and that'll be a one. Um, and because I have a one here now, I can just subtract that out, um, or add that to that nine times. And so in that row, I'm gonna get zero, one, zero. And now I can just subtract from this row, um, subtract this row from this row, 
1 minus 1 is 0, minus 4, minus 0 is minus 4, but then I can do the same with this row, and I'm just going to end up with that. Um, the, the identity matrix where I have 1, 1, 1. Um, this is what is called the trivial solution. Um, because here I have, if you remember, I eliminated my uh, vector of answers because I don't need them, but this is all equal to that 0, 0, 0. What we have the x's right there. So what that says is x1 equals 0, x2 equals 0, and x3 equals 0. And that's the only solution, the trivial solution, where all of my variables are equal to 0. Now what does an example look like that has more than the trivial solution? Let's write this one as a matrix. I have 1, 1, 4, 2, minus 1, minus 1, 5, minus 1, 2. And again, I don't have to write those zeros because they don't change. I just have to remember that they're there. OK. I'm going to go row 2 minus 2 times row 1. Minus 1, uh, minus 2 times 1, that's minus 3. Minus 1, minus 2 times 4, that's minus 1, minus 8, minus 9. And I'm going to go uh, this row minus 5 times this row, so that'll be 0. Minus 1, minus 5 times 1, that's minus 6. And 2, minus 5 times 4, that's 2 minus 20. That is minus 18. I'm going to divide this row by negative 3 and get 0, 1, 3. I'm going to divide this row by negative 6 and get 0, 1, 3. Cool. I can subtract out um, that row completely. Now, I'm going to take the first row uh, minus the second row. 1 minus 1 is 0. 4 minus 3 is 1. OK. Um, so we are here in row echelon form, uh, reduced row echelon form. Uh, and x3 is going to be my free variable. I'm going to call that t. So x3 equals t. Here, x2 plus 3t equals 0. So x2, x2 equals minus 3t. And x1 plus t equals 0. So x1 equals minus t. Uh, as a matrix, that'll look like okay. And that is a non-trivial solution, uh, where x1, x2, and x3 they get to have actual values and still make this uh, system of equations true. Um, so, just to reiterate, homogeneous systems. They're all equal to zero. So you're guaranteed at least one solution, which is the trivial case. And the non-trivial case uh, is where you can find values like these, where everything doesn't have to, equal to, to be equal to zero in order to make these things true. Thanks for watching this video. Be sure to check out the rest of the videos in this series and any of the other math-related videos on our channel. If you're not subscribed to our channel, click this link right here. For more help with linear algebra, check out Worldwide Differential Equations with Linear Algebra by Robert McCohen or Elementary Linear Algebra by Bruce Cooperstein. Both are available at an affordable price in digital formats on our website. Just click this link right here.